Okay, so right now we're here at Nagtabon Beach to enjoy some sunset, blue waters, palm trees, everything you need for summer is right here. And just so you know, the reason why my uploads are late is because I'm taking up my summer classes at my beloved school, Palawan State University. Well, even if my uploads are late, I always want to give my overall gratitude to you guys for your continuous support since the first day. So, for today's episode, I want to share with you one editing tutorial for one of my favorite techniques, which is called the sky replacement. Alright, so before we start this tutorial, here's the before, after, before, and after. So you can download these footages in my video description below so that you can practice editing at your home. Okay, so let's start by creating a new sequence with a time base of 23.976 frames per second and let's name this as Sky Replacement Tutorial. Alright, so now that we've created our sequence, let's drag our footages in our timeline to start editing. So this is the shot where we will gonna do the effect. And this is the sky that we'll be using. Drag the sky layer on top of our shot and cut the parts that we are not going to use. Select both clips, right click, and select replace with After Effects Composition. So let's name this project as Sky Replacement Tutorial Number 1. To start, drag and hide the sky layer because we are not gonna use it for now. Then, double click our main shot because right now we are going to remove the sky. Simply click Roto Brush Tool and as you can see, we have a small cursor that appeared. And to make it larger, hold the control key on your keyboard and hold your left mouse button and drag it upward to make the cursor larger. Now, carefully paint on the sky that you want to remove. After Effects will do a great job on recognizing the sky and you will notice a small purple line that indicates the area that you've painted. And if you notice some things that you don't want to be affected by the brush, Simply click the Alt key on your keyboard and paint on the parts that you don't want to be removed. And of course, always pay attention to the small details. After painting with brush, press spacebar and let After Effects analyze your footage. After Effects will apply the roto on the first 20 frames. And after that, brush the next 20 frames of the clip and repeat the same process over all the whole clip. Alright, so right now we are done roto brushing our clip. And the next step is to clean the mask by using Refine Edge Tool. You can find it by holding the roto brush icon. And as you can see, the Refine Edge icon will appear at the bottom. To refine the edges, just paint carefully on the purple lines of your clip. And just like the roto, you will do it for every 20 frames of the clip. Alright, so let's speed things up. Nice. Once we go back on our composition, we can clearly see the result of our roto which totally separated the foreground and the sky. Now, click Invert Background to invert the mask. Check the contaminate edge colors and motion blur. And finally, we can now show our sky layer and see how it looks. Damn, it's pretty terrible at the moment. The next step is to make it as realistic as possible. Since we use a night sky, we have to match the color and exposure of our background and our foreground. And to do that, Go to Effects and Presets and search for Curves. Simply drag the curves to our foreground layer and match the exposure with the background by dragging this line downward. Nice. Next, since the sky has some bluish color, go to the blue channel of our curves and add some blues. Very nice. Lastly, you can see that I snapped my finger to make some smooth transition from day to night. And to do that, Turn off the roto in the curves and duplicate the foreground layer. Let's name the new layer as base layer. Scrub to the part where I look at the sky and press Ctrl Shift D to cut the layer. In this way, we can make our acting as effective as possible. Now, remove the roto in the curves on our base layer and turn on the effects on our foreground layer. Next, search for luma key on our effects and presets panel and drag it on our base layer. And on the key type, select Key Out Brighter. Now put the threshold to 255 and go to the frame where I snap my finger and create a new keyframe. And lastly, scrub to the last frame of our base layer 
and put the threshold down to zero. Let's play it back. Whoa. So we just did the day-to-night transition using the sky replacement. So before we proceed to the next clip, I would like to thank Epidemic Sound for providing me insane quality tracks and sound effects for my videos. Whether I do tutorials, vlogs, events, and other corporate projects, Epidemic Sound is my go-to music library. You can check the link in my description below for more info and you can sign up using that link for a 30-day free trial. Because a good music makes a good video. Okay, so for the next clip, this will be a lot easier and faster than the previous one because we don't have a moving subject. So let's just do what we did earlier. First, drag the sky layer up and cut everything that we don't need. Select both clips, right click, and select replace with After Effects composition. Hide the sky layer, select Roto Brush tool, and start painting on the sky. Again, do it for the next 20 frames until you're done. And now that we're done, refine the edges using the Refine Edge tool. And again, do it for every 20 frames of the clip. And after all of that, check Invert Foreground and Background, Motion Blur, and the contaminate edge colors. Now, click and reveal our sky layer, and boom! That's it! Easy peasy. Okay, I know that some of you guys remembered our challenge last March 2019. And today is the day that we will announce the winner for our hashtag, Miko Mobile Beat Challenge. This challenge was brought to you by Filmore9, and we are so glad that we have a total of 256 entries. Yesterday, we spent our whole night watching your videos, and we are so mesmerized by your talents. Upon watching your videos, we used our criteria to judge each and every video that you've posted. Creativity of 25%, Impact and Retention of 30%, Sound Design 30%, and Storytelling of 15%. <laughs> and our winner for the Filmora 9 Lifetime License Pack and Effects Pack is no other than... Davi Quartero! Yes! Congratulations, brother! Sobrang creative mo. You did a great job on the sound design and sa storytelling. At pinatapos ko talaga siya ng dulo kasi it's so good. Kaya, yun. Congratulations sa'yo and ingat yan sa barko. And of course, I know a lot of you gave your time and effort for this challenge. That's why I will also give a 2,000 pesos cash prize for our second winner. Which is no other than... Clarky TV! Woo! Yes! Isa pa to. Sobrang creative. Sobrang daming effects dun sa ginawa mong video. I love the sound design. And storytelling na lang yung kulang. Pero overall, sobrang galing mo talaga Clarky TV. Congrats! <laughs> So, congratulations to our winners, and I hope that you've learned a lot from this editing tutorial. And all I can say is that, all of you guys are really good and talented, and nothing will change that. Keep shooting, keep creating, my name is Miko Chotanko, and God bless! Hey, 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 hey.